Hi everyone, it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website. Uh, so today I've got a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, uh, which is an Android honeycomb based tablet from Samsung. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the key features, talk about the key specifications of device and basically give you a walkthrough of all the key features. So the key things are you've got a 10.1 inch display here on the front um, and this is a TFT LCD display. Um, so you do get some quite, it's quite nice for looking at photos and stuff. Um, there's quite a high resolution on the display. So it's WXGA, which is a 1280 by 800. So you've got 12, 1280 pixels going this way, 800 pixels going that way. It's 10.1 inches going widescreen in this direction here, going from corner to corner. Uh, so you get 149 pixels per inch, which is really nice. Um, so what it means is perhaps you're uh, viewing maps, you, maybe you're just browsing the web or something like that. Um, but you'll notice actually the text is very sharp, uh, very easy to read. Um, you, you never really have to zoom in, um, but you can. And uh, you see that actually the text is very sharp there. Um, so that's because you've got a high resolution uh, display on this device. On the, uh, on the back and also on the front, you've actually got a camera. So uh, on the back, you have a three megapixel camera um, with autofocus and LED flash. Yeah, uh, that supports um, that supports um, seven, HD 720p video recording. On the front, you've got a uh, two megapixel uh, camera, so just here. So this is great for video calling, um, for Skype, for Google Talk. Uh, so there's Google Talk, which is integrated into Honeycomb, that allows you to make video calls to your friends on Gmail and so on. So that's really great. Um, You've also got a, inside you've got a dual core one gigahertz Tegra 2 processor. Um, so that's, that means it's very fast uh, when you're running games and you're browsing the web and uh, doing things that you, you know, you do with your tablet essentially. Um, it's got, uh, it's got everything you expect from a tablet really. Um, it's got, you know, it's got the GPS, so you've got Google Maps, you can do navigation and there's an office suite built in called Polaris Office. Um, there's web, there's flash support in the web browser as well so if we uh, well if we just go to the web browser so what you can't do on many other tablets say so you can just if you go straight to the iPlayer website um, because it supports flash then literally you can just go to the TV show that you want to watch okay. and you notice that this is actually a flash movie here and loads up and you can actually just play it and um, you see actually plays back straight away and it's very, very, very uh, smooth. Um, so you get a really nice um, web browsing experience as well because you've got the flash which is built in uh, to, to the tablet. So we'll close that. So this tablet is available in two versions, Wi-Fi and um, also 3G. So if you have the 3G version which costs a little bit more, you can use it whilst you're on the go. Uh, on top of Android Honeycomb, you've got the Samsung TouchWiz user interface. So there's several enhancements to TouchWiz. Uh, for example, there's something called mini widgets. Uh, so mini widgets are so usually on Honeycomb, you can't have uh, two applications open on on the same window. Um, but Samsung have built in something called uh, mini widgets, and that allows you to open up something whilst you're. Uh, it allows you to open up other applications whilst you're doing something. So. For example, imagine I'm doing some online shopping here. So I'm on Amazon, and I'm having a look at the diff. Um, I'm looking at the different Kindles which are available. Now, what I can do is I can then go and open up a mini widget. Uh, for example, um, well, I don't really want to do this right now, but I just show it as a demonstration. I can have a look at the time in other parts of the world, um, so I can see whether it's um, whether it's a reasonable time to try and contact someone if I just found their contact details on this website. But what might actually be more useful in this in this circumstance is I can bring up an on-screen calculator. So, you know, I'm looking here at the uh, Kindle Touch. Um, perhaps I want to buy four of them. So how much is that going to cost me? Then I can literally just type that in straight in the calculator and it'll cost me $396. Um, and that's that's one of the benefits of the mini widgets is that, um, you know, for a, lot of the, for a lot of the things that you want to do often, you can just load up the mini widget. Uh, for example, you can control uh, what music you're listening to, you can make notes, you can do calculations, you can look at the time across the world, you can have a look at your schedule, 
uh, or your appointments, where, what you, where you need to be and when. Um, you can also look at what programs are running on your tablet. Um, you can do all of that without actually having to leave the window that you're currently in. And so that's one of the real benefits of the Samsung TouchWiz uh, UX uh, interface, which is built on top of Honeycomb. Um, apart from that, there are, I mean, there are some several key um, new enhancements in the Honeycomb user interface. So, for example, if you want to switch between windows, uh, you press you press this button here, and then uh, you can see here I've got a list of all the applications that I've got open, and it's actually got a screenshot of each one, so it's very easy to switch uh, between all of them as well. So here I'm back into Google Maps because um, I had a thumbnail of it. Um, another thing to point out perhaps is actually Google Maps looks really great um, on the 10.1 inch display here. Um, so if I zoom in to, uh, this is central London here, and you see the buildings are actually loading. And then uh, I can, if I, uh, if I put two fingers on the uh, my display, and then I can change the perspective. Um, so maybe if I get if I go to central London here, there we go. Where are we? So in central London, and we use three D perspective. We use three D perspective, and then uh, we can rotate, and you see, you get to see London uh, in three D as well. Uh, so maps look really great on this device, although it's loading a bit slowly over my uh, Wi Fi connection at the moment, but that, that's fine. Um, other great things about this, uh, with the honeycomb and the user interface is, you know, your home screens are very customizable. Uh, so you see all my, you see the widgets that I've got here on my home screen and the icons. Uh, for example, I can actually just dynamically resize all these. So I can hold on, hold down on the weather widget and see, I can just kind of resize it like that, put it down like that. Um, I can just drag, drag things about like you can, um, and you just drop it where I want when I want where I want to put it. So it's very easy to customize a home screen so that all of the information that you need is available just at a glance. Um, so I'll put this one back here. Um, but yeah, so this is one of the benefits of uh, Honeycomb and also the TouchWiz uh, user interface. Because you've got a large screen, so you notice that games look really good. Um, so for example, I could open up Angry Birds. Um, so, you know, I mean, if you thought Angry Birds was uh, fun on a, uh, you know, on your 4.3 inch Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, then uh, try it out on a 10.1 and it's uh, really great. And there you go, you see, it, yeah, it looks really good um, being able to play it on such a large display. Um, of course, because it is Android. Uh, then now I'll just, you know, you can just download these games straight from uh, Android Market and they're just, uh, I think there's over 200,000 free applications which are available from the Android Market. Um, other nice, so another nice feature of TouchWiz to point out is, uh, for example, maybe I'm playing Angry Birds and I want to show someone how to do something, so I want to say you do this and if, see if I press that button down there and then that takes a screenshot. Uh, of what I'm currently doing, and then I can send that to one of my friends. So if I'm creating a tutorial about how to use an application or something, and um, then take screenshot, a uh, button's actually quite useful. Um, because of the way that Honeycomb is designed, if I, uh, if I go and rotate the uh, tablet, you see, it just, um, well, the screen lays itself out again, uh, but then the navigation buttons also appear at the bottom as well. Um, so you notice there's no buttons on the actual, on the, uh, on the bezel device itself. Um, literally all, the, all of the buttons are actually on the display itself. So it's so very, um, very customizable and it adjusts to uh, how you use it. 